being here on the 50th uh, anniversary of the reunification of Jerusalem makes me especially proud. Birthright started late in the year 1999, basically at the end of the 20th century. And I really had no idea of what its magnitude would ultimately be. And I feel that Birthright, and I mentioned this in my little talk earlier, Birthright is all good, all ennobling, all virtuous, because it's, it only does good things for its participants, whether they're Jews who are knowledgeable, or in many cases, whether they're Jews with one Jewish grandparent only, who suddenly are caught up in their Jewishness, which never would have happened if not for birthright. The diaspora represents an extraordinary asset to Israel, and Israel should more fulfill and focus upon that asset than it does. It does something. Birthright is one extraordinary example, but there aren't that many others. I mean, I, the thought that immediately comes to mind is that my daughter has started a group of Hebrew language immersion charter schools throughout the United States with the hope of teaching American kids, not only Jews, Hebrew. And this Hebrew is being taught in Jewish day camps and other places with the hope that Hebrew can become a universal Jewish language rather than an Israeli language only. I wish Israel will continue to prosper both uh, uh, as a people and financially and militarily and will attract more and more Jews from all sorts of parts of the world and will continue to be, I hate to use this expression, a light unto the nation. I truly believe, I truly believe that Israel is the single most moral country on earth.